As I watched Jacqueline twirl in front of the window, the sunlight dancing across her floral skirt, I felt a complicated mixture of emotions. Jack, my son, stood before me, transformed. It had all started with a simple discovery, a lacy secret hidden away in his dresser drawer, courtesy of his mischievous sister, Amy. He insisted it wasn't his, that Amy planted it there, but I couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the story. Dazzling, isn't it, Jacqueline? I said, using the name I'd teasingly given him for this feminine form he so reluctantly embodied. He sighed, a soft frown on his lipstick mouth. Mom, I'm Jack. This isn't. It's not what it looks like. But as his mother, I had to teach him a lesson about privacy and respect. Amy had complained about her missing clothes for weeks, and I couldn't just ignore it. So, I had devised a plan. If Jack had indeed taken Amy's things, maybe walking a mile in her shoes, quite literally, would give him a new perspective. To my surprise, as I helped him into the dress and applied a hint of blush to his cheeks, I was struck by how naturally he wore it all. He was the image of cuteness, his resistance giving way to a delicate grace that I hadn't anticipated. You know, Jacqueline, I continued, you make a very pretty girl, almost as if it's a side of you we've never seen. It's not a side of me, he muttered, staring down at the skirt that flared with each small movement. Still, I couldn't help but think that maybe this was a part of him that needed to be explored, even if he wasn't ready to admit it yet. The way the morning light accentuated his new silhouette, the way the skirt swayed, it was undeniably charming. As a mother, my heart was torn. I had set out to teach him a lesson, but now I wondered if the lesson was mine to learn. His vulnerability, his unexpected poise, it was a reminder that my child was a kaleidoscope of identities, and this experiment of mine, meant as a temporary measure, felt increasingly permanent. I think we'll keep you this way for a while, Jacqueline, I found myself saying. You're quite the vision, and I dare say, it seems to suit you. He looked at me then, eyes wide, a silent question lingering in the air. I smiled back, reassuringly, though inside, I grappled with a curious blend of concern and pride. This was new territory for us both, but as long as he looked this happy, this. Right, how could I not embrace this facet of my child? Weeks melted into months, and the transformation that began as a lesson turned into something more profound, something unspoken yet deeply felt. Jacqueline, once Jack, found a comfort in his new identity that none of us expected. And as his 16th birthday approached, I knew it was time to celebrate Jacqueline in all her newfound splendor, a sweet 16 she'd never forget. The party planning was a whirlwind of pastels, ribbons, and delicate touches. Invitations were sent out, each one adorned with the flourish of a calligraphic, J, standing proudly for Jacqueline. As the day drew near, the excitement in Jacqueline's eyes was unmistakable. She'd spend hours discussing themes, cakes, and dresses, immersing herself in every detail with a fervor that was infectious. I think a garden theme would be lovely, don't you think, Mom? Jacqueline mused one evening, her voice tinged with excitement. With fairy lights and flowers everywhere. I nodded, my heart swelling. Absolutely, darling, it will be magical. And magical it was. On the day of the party, our backyard transformed into an enchanted garden. Strings of soft white lights twinkled among the trees, and the tables were adorned with vases of wildflowers. The air was filled with the gentle hum of conversation and laughter, a symphony of celebration. When Jacqueline made her entrance, there was a collective intake of breath. She was ethereal, her dress a cascade of soft fabric that seemed to catch every ray of the setting sun. Her smile was radiant, her steps confident. This was her moment, her declaration to the world. As she greeted her guests, her laughter mingled with the gentle music that floated through the air. She was the belle of the ball, gracious and joyful, every bit the young woman she had grown to be. And when it came time to blow out the candles on her beautifully decorated cake, she looked at me, her eyes shining with gratitude and a touch of wonder. Make a wish, Jacqueline, I whispered, my voice heavy with emotion. She closed her eyes, the lashes casting delicate shadows on her cheeks, and made her wish. In that moment, 
I realized that the greatest gift wasn't the party or the dress or the throng of well-wishers. It was the acceptance, the freedom to be oneself. The party continued under the stars, a night of dancing and memories in the making. Jacqueline was the center of it all, her spirit infectious, her joy palpable. And as the night drew to a close, with the moon casting a soft glow over our enchanted garden, I held my daughter close and knew that no matter what, I would always celebrate her, my sweet Jacqueline, in all her perfect complexity.